Welcome back to our LinkedIn Masterclass for Cybersecurity Careers. So far, we've covered how to get recruiters to find you and how to build a LinkedIn brand. But now, we are focusing on the most important part of your LinkedIn profile, your experience and skills. Even if you have zero direct experience in cybersecurity, I'll show you how to position your past jobs so that cybersecurity recruiters see you as a potential asset. How to highlight your skills the right way. How to structure your job titles for maximum visibility. By the end of this video, your LinkedIn profile would look 10x more impressive. Even if you're still breaking into cybersecurity, most job seekers make one huge mistake on their LinkedIn profiles. They treat their experience section like a boring resume copy-paste. Let's fix that right now so your profile stands out to recruiters immediately. Here's what most job seekers do wrong. A bad example would be cybersecurity analyst, ABC Core 2022 to present. Performed cybersecurity tasks, assisted with security monitoring. This is too vague and generic. It tells recruiters nothing about your actual skills or achievements. If your experience section looks like this, recruiters will skip your profile. Now let's turn that weak job listing into something powerful and recruiter-friendly. A good example would be Cybersecurity Analyst, Risk Management and Compliance, ISO 27001, Honest. Conducted vulnerability assessments using Splunk and Qualys. Improved incident response time by 40%. Ensured compliance with NIST and ISO 27001 standards. Why does this work? It includes keywords that recruiters search for. It quantifies your impact, metrics like 40% improvement. It focuses on skills instead of just job responsibilities. If your experience section only lists your job title and dates, fix it now. Want to make your experience section stand out even more? Add metrics and industry keywords to increase recruiter visibility. Metrics example, assisted with security monitoring. That's weak. However, a strong one would be monitored and analyzed 5,000 plus security logs per day, reducing false positives by 25%. Keyword optimization example, worked on cybersecurity projects. That would be weak. However, conducted vulnerability scans using Nessus and Splunk to detect security risks would be strong. Go to your experience section right now and update your bullet points with at least one measurable impact, percentages, time saved, or improvements made. Relevant cybersecurity keywords, SIEM, compliance frameworks, risk management, firewalls, etc. Now let's move on to the next section, how to pivot non-tech experience into cybersecurity. One of the biggest myths about cybersecurity is that you need prior IT experience to land a job. That is completely false. In fact, some of the best cybersecurity professionals came from non-technical backgrounds like finance, healthcare, law, and even retail. If you're transitioning into cybersecurity, I'll show you how to reframe your past experiences so recruiters see you as a strong candidate. Here's how your current job already connects to cybersecurity. Finance or banking converts to risk management and compliance. Retail and customer service transitions into fraud prevention and identity verification. If you're in healthcare, you could definitely get into data privacy or HIPAA and security awareness training. If you've been in the legal or HR field, policy enforcement, access control, investigations would be ideal for you. Project management would be governance, risk and compliance, as well as audits. Recruiters love candidates with risk compliance and problem-solving experience, even if they're not from a traditional IT background. Now let's see how to rewrite your LinkedIn experience so it highlights these skills. Most people transitioning to cybersecurity list their past jobs the wrong way. This would be a bad example. Not great, is it? But here is how you can actually put it so that recruiters can find you easily through LinkedIn. Here's another bad example. Ah, that's terrible. What does that tell the recruiter about you? Nothing much. 
does it? But here's a good example for a retail associate for fraud and identity protection. Look how clear and concise the information is while highlighting your key experiences that can easily be transitioned to a cybersecurity role. See the difference? You're not changing what you did. You're just presenting it in a way that connects it to cybersecurity. Now let's go deeper into listing certifications and projects to prove that you're job ready. Here's the difference after optimizing your past experience. Now let's move on to the next section. How to list projects and certifications to boost your LinkedIn profile. Recruiters don't just look at your job experience. They also check your projects and certifications to see if you have hands-on skills. If you've been applying to jobs but not getting any interviews, here's why. You don't have any projects listed, so recruiters naturally assume you don't have any practical experience and you don't have any certifications listed. You blend in with thousands of other candidates. Today, I'll show you how to list personal projects even if you've never had a cybersecurity job. How to add cybersecurity certifications that increase recruiter interest and how to structure both sections for maximum visibility. By the end of this section, your LinkedIn will look more impressive, more technical and more job ready. If you don't have work experience in cybersecurity, projects are the fastest way to improve your skills. What counts as a cybersecurity project? A home lab setup, which means practicing security tools on your own machine. A cloud security demo, testing AWS security configurations. And CTF challenges, participating in cybersecurity competitions like Try Hack Me and Hack the Box. SEM and threat detection, using Splunk or ELK stack to analyze security logs. And compliance audit simulation reviewing ISO 27001 or NIST frameworks. Now, let's add a project to your profile. Here's how to list a cybersecurity project the right way. Here's a good example. Look at how clear this is. This structure shows what you did. An AWS security audit. What skills you used. IAM policies and cloud security. What tools you worked with, AWS Security Hub and CloudTrail. Even one strong project like this can set you apart from other job seekers. Certifications show recruiters that you have verified cybersecurity knowledge. If you don't have work experience, adding certifications immediately increases your credibility. Which certifications should you add? Certified in Cybersecurity, ISC2 CC or CompTIA Security Plus or the Google Cybersecurity Certificate. Now, if you're more intermediate or advanced, AWS Certified Security Speciality, Certified Ethical Hacker or CEH, CISSP, CISA, CISM for GRC and leadership roles. Now, let's add a certification to your LinkedIn profile. Here's how to add certifications the right way so they appear in recruiter searches. Here's a good example. Why does this work? It's searchable by recruiters. It shows up in your profile highlights. It proves your knowledge, even if you don't have any work experience yet. If you're currently studying for a certification, list it as in progress to show people that you're actively learning. Now let's move on to the next section. The three most important skills that recruiters look for and how to highlight them. Most job seekers focus on job titles and certifications, but what recruiters actually search for are specific skills. If your skill section isn't optimized, you're not showing up in recruiter searches. Today, I'll show you the three most in-demand cybersecurity skills, how to add them to your LinkedIn profile so that recruiters find you, and how to prove you actually have these skills even if you are new. By the end of this section, and you'll be visible to all hiring managers who are looking for cybersecurity professionals. Recruiters search for specific cybersecurity skills, and if you don't list them, you won't appear in their results. Here are the three most important skills that recruiters look for. Risk management and compliance, GRC. Why is it important? 
Every company needs cybersecurity professionals who understand regulations like ISO 27001, NIST, GDPR, and SOC 2. And this is how you can highlight it on LinkedIn. The second one would be threat detection and incident response. Now, why is that important? Companies want professionals who can identify, analyze, and respond to security threats. How to highlight it on LinkedIn? Well, here you go. The third one would be cloud security and identity management. Why is it important? Most organizations store their data in the cloud, making cloud security expertise highly valuable. And this is how you can put it on your LinkedIn profile. If you don't have these skills listed, your profile is missing out on recruiter searches. Now, let's add them to your profile. Now, let's optimize your skills section so that recruiters can find you. Step number one, go to your LinkedIn profile. Scroll down to the skills section. Click Add a Skill. Type in the top cybersecurity skills that we just covered. Save your changes. This instantly increases the chances of recruiters finding your profile. Go to your LinkedIn profile right now and at least five cybersecurity skills. Get at least three skill endorsements. List a project or certification as proof. Now, let's move on to the next section. Why you need at least five endorsed skills and how to get them fast. Adding skills to your LinkedIn profile is only half the battle. If those skills aren't endorsed, LinkedIn's algorithm doesn't fully recognize them and recruiters may not take them seriously. If you have at least five endorsed skills, LinkedIn boosts your profile in recruiter searches. Recruiters see you as more credible and experienced. You get more interview requests and job offers. Simply put, endorsements equals proof that you actually know your skills. Now let's get you at least five endorsed skills fast. Endorse others first, that's the first step. Go to your LinkedIn connections and endorse them for skills that they have. Most people will return the favor and endorse you back. For example, if you endorse someone for networking and security, they'll likely endorse you for SIEM and threat detection. Ask your network. That's the second step. Find colleagues, classmates or mentors and send them a quick message. Here's a message template. Hey, and add the name. I updated my LinkedIn profile and added some cybersecurity skills. Would you mind endorsing me for, and you can add the skill. Happy to return the favor. Most people would say yes. This method works especially well if you've studied or worked with them. Join LinkedIn skill endorsement groups. There are LinkedIn networking groups where professionals exchange endorsements. Join a group, engage, and offer genuine endorsements to others. And trust me, they'll endorse you back. Here's a pro tip. Focus on your most important cybersecurity skills like GRC, SIEM, cloud security, and threat detection. Avoid random endorsements for unrelated skills like Microsoft Office or public speaking. Go to your skills section right now and endorse five people in your network. Now let's move on to the next section. How to show career progression and growth on your LinkedIn profile. Recruiters aren't just looking for experience. They want to see growth and progression. If your LinkedIn profile looks flat, meaning you've listed one job title for years with no changes, you're missing an opportunity to prove that you're constantly improving. Show how you've moved up in your career, even if it's not officially a promotion. Make your profile more attractive to recruiters. Today, I'll show you how to structure your experience so it clearly tells the story of your career growth. Here's what recruiters see when they look at your LinkedIn experience. If you list only one role for years, it looks like you've made no progress in your career and it doesn't showcase new skills that you've gained. There's lower chances of getting hired for mid-level roles. If you show career progression, it demonstrates continuous learning and adaptability highlights new responsibilities and achievements, higher chances of recruiters offering better paying roles. Even if you haven't officially been promoted, you can still show career progression and I will show you how. You don't need an official job title change to show progression. What matters is how you structure your experience. Here's a bad example. Doesn't look that good, does it? But here 
is a good example. This simple change shows growth in your role, even if your job title stayed the same. Now let's move on to the next section, the hidden resume section on LinkedIn that most ignore. The featured section is like a portfolio for your LinkedIn profile. Most people ignore it, but top professionals use it to showcase their best work up front. What you can add to the featured section? Your resume in PDF format so recruiters can download it instantly. A cybersecurity project or report that you've worked on. Here's how to upload your resume so that recruiters can access it easily. Go to your LinkedIn profile. Scroll down to the Featured section, click Add Featured and select Media. Upload your resume as a PDF. Rename the file, your name, cybersecurityresume.pdf. Add a description with key skills and a call to action. Experienced in SIEM, cloud security and compliance. Open to cybersecurity roles. Download my resume below. Why does this work? Recruiters can access your resume immediately without having to wait for you to send it. It increases profile engagement and makes applying for jobs easier. You look prepared and job ready. Now let's look at other powerful ways to use the featured section. If you've done any cybersecurity work, even a home lab, you should showcase it here. For example, uploading a security project. This is what it would look like. This proves to recruiters that you have hands-on experience, even if you haven't landed a cybersecurity job yet. Now let's move on to the next section, how to structure your job titles for maximum visibility. Your job title isn't just a label. It's one of the most important factors LinkedIn's algorithm uses to rank your profile in recruiter searches. If your job title isn't optimized, you could be invisible to recruiters even if you have the right skills. Today, I'll show you why generic job titles hurt your chances of getting found, how to structure your job titles to match your cybersecurity roles, and how to update your past job titles without lying to improve your search visibility. By the end of this section, recruiters will be able to find your profile more easily, leading to more job opportunities. When recruiters search for candidates, they don't just search by name, they search by job title and skills. For example, this is how they would search. If your job title doesn't match what recruiters are searching for, you won't appear in their search results. Update your current job title with relevant cybersecurity keywords. Reframe past job titles to highlight security-related experience. And make sure your title matches the roles that you are applying for. Congratulations! You've just completed the experience and skills blueprint for optimizing your LinkedIn profile. Now here's the most important step, taking action. Here's a quick action list to make sure your profile is fully optimized. Rewrite your experience section using the bullet point structure that we covered. Update your job titles with relevant cybersecurity keywords. Add at least one cybersecurity project to your LinkedIn profile. List certifications, even if they're still in progress. Optimize your skills section and get at least five endorsements. Upload your resume to the featured section. Take five to 10 minutes and go through this checklist right now. Now, I want to hear from you. Drop a comment in this video and let me know what changes did you make to your LinkedIn profile today? What part of your experience section did you update first? This helps you stay accountable and it might inspire someone else to improve their account too. I'll be checking the comments and replying to as many comments as I possibly can. In video four, we'll be covering how to network with recruiters and get interview invites. The LinkedIn messaging strategy that gets responses. How to use LinkedIn to bypass the application process and land a job faster. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't miss out the next section.